hi, this is Ashley with Court Reserve. There are some really important settings that we need you and your team to go in and set up before we actually do your first basic setup training. Let's go through so that you will be prepared to get the most out of your training. So the first thing I want to mention is this is the admin side of Court Reserve. Admins have complete control to set up and override and do things in your Court Reserve platform. You also have the ability to click here, view member portal, and go back and forth to your member or player side and come back across to your admin side with one unique login. Let's go through some of your organization settings here located in the top row under the general button. The organization general info that you need to enter would be your organization name, the phone number, and the complete address of your organization. You can also use the drop down to put in your date and currency format as well as set your time zone. Here, the reservation min interval means this is the minutes that are defaulted at 30 as a drop down when you make a reservation. You can also choose a different start day of the week if you choose to not have Sunday as that start date. There are a couple of other settings here that you can hover over the question mark and it can indicate more information about what this setting means. We encourage you to go ahead and set up a reminder for all of your events, classes, clinics, and camps, as well as a reservation reminder for all of those reservations that your players and members make. We generally encourage at least 24-hour reminder emails to go out. If you have a ball machine or any other resource, you can name it here. You can also include phone number on member lookup, which means when you go up here to the top and start searching by phone number, a member's information would pop up. As you continue to the bottom, the other thing that I wanna draw your attention to is events in Court Reserve are all those classes, clinics, camps, round robins, open plays, etc. If you would like to choose another name for an event, you can indicate that here. Always remember to click the blue save button as you make changes in the Court Reserve platform. The next thing we want to review is the system users in your Court Reserve platform. Admins have complete and full control for setup and everything in the platform. Sub-admins have specific rules, permissions, and restrictions by which you will need to give to them. So once you create a sub-admin, then you need to go in and choose which permissions and which things in your Court Reserve platform you would like for them to do. When you create the user, it will send them an email asking them to set up a unique password in order to log in. You also need to click on Hours of Operation. This is the open and closed doors of your organization. You cannot schedule anything in your Court Reserve platform that are outside these open and closed times. So for instance, if you have a 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and you try and allow reservations after 9 p.m., the scheduler will not allow as it looks like you are closing at 9 p.m. The next thing we want to draw your attention to is the email settings button. The automated emails that go out of the system, if one of your players or members responds to that automated email, you must have an email here in order to get that email. One of the key setups that you need to do before we have your first training call is under court and ball machine settings. You need to go in and set up your courts or the spaces that we will be working with in your court reserve platform. You can see what kind of court types already exist by clicking on the court types button here. If your court types do not exist here, you can simply click the green create court type and add that to the system. You will then need to go back in to the first courts button and create all of the courts at your facility whether those are tennis, pickleball, gyms, yoga, cycle studios, pools, etc. Once you create your courts, you can sort your courts by clicking on the other court actions blue button here and click sort courts. This will allow you to move your courts up and down the way that you would like to see them on your scheduler. The last thing we want to talk about today is the difference in lessons, reservations, and events in Court Reserve. Lessons are here under the instructor settings under the green button. Lessons are privates and semi-privates in your court reserve platform. 
Reservations live here under reservation settings in the gray area. Reservation types would be tennis singles or pickleball doubles. Events in Court Reserve are all of those classes, clinics, camps, open plays, and round robins where groups of people can sign up to take part. We have changed the event name to clinic here. Your clinic categories live here. If you are setting up classes, clinics, camps, any kind of group setting, you'll want to set them up as clinics or events. The last thing I want to mention is during your setup time, as well as in the future, please always know that you can reach out to our live chat support team. This is located in the top right hand corner, the green bubble. The live chat support team is there to answer all of your questions, including any setup help. So click send us a message and we will be glad to continue with your setup or any questions afterwards.